this year in particular, I think um, there's been a, a bigger push on, on textile printing, and of course we have to be included in that. Uh, the machine itself is quite unique in what it does, a particular area um, that it, it prints in, um, so we have to be part of this organisation. I mean, obviously, we, we need to have a presence in Europe. Um, I think it was the, the first one since the launch of um, of Shima, uh, of the SIP in Europe for us. So, of course, it's our first opportunity to be able to show the machine. The fact that it can print on a, a wool garment as well as a 3D structure garment. Um, there's not many machines that will, that will print on wool, if any, to the success that this does. The print head actually prints above the substrate, so when it prints on wool or, or a hair, hairy yarn, there's no flattening or detriment to the handle of the finished garment. So the, the, the dye stuff is actually, other than visual, it's untraceable. In the UK, we have um, we have one intent to buy uh, at the end of this month or beginning of June, and we have one on trial uh, in, in a company in Scotland. Uh, Shima Siki Europe Limited um, is uh, UK, France, Spain, Portugal, Morocco, and the Baltics. We're showcasing a few different machines, the knitting side, of course the print, and also we have a new uh, cutting machine for textiles, we'll be showing that also.